Prepare yourself for the true power of PowerPoint. The kiosks, you see them everywhere. They've become synonymous with the words efficiency and convenience. But did you know that you could actually create something very similar with a Microsoft Office product? Well, yes you can. PowerPoint, clearly one of the most recognizable names among the Microsoft Office lines of products. However, because it's not used very often, it can be perceived as a little intimidating in most work environments. After all, when we think about PowerPoint, what do we think about? Lectures, meetings, things that only happen occasionally, maybe once or twice a week. But in reality, it's not very complicated at all. It can be extremely beneficial and it can be used on a daily basis. Yes, that is not a mistake. You can actually use PowerPoint on a daily basis. What you see here is the PowerPoint opening slide. However, it was not designed to be viewed on a large screen, but rather on a small screen. To be clear, on a regular computer screen. You'll notice at the top of the page, it says the Associates Information Assistance Center. If I were to click on this particular slide or the word menu, it would actually open up to the menu. Here, you can now see the menu. And yes, this is a PowerPoint presentation. Or is it really? In reality, what has been created is an information kiosk that is designed to assist others with important information. With this approach to PowerPoint and the feature that you see in front of you, you can literally cut inner office foot traffic in half, if not more, which means increased productivity all around. You can also enhance clear and consistent communications throughout a facility. You cannot ask for much more than that, and it is extremely user friendly. If you're really familiar with PowerPoint, then you probably recognize that what we have here are PowerPoint buttons. Unlike a normal presentation, here you literally click on the buttons to transfer from one slide to the next. So I'm going to do that now. By clicking on that particular button, it brings me up to the slide in which you can change these questions to fit your own need and link them to a PDF that's located in a file, which is what I've done here. If I were to click how and when do we receive raises, a PDF will appear. Now, remember guys, this is all fictional information, so don't be alarmed. You can actually print this as if it were any PDF and return to the menu and proceed with your next selection. Each category will contain a slide with a photo. And within that photo, if you were to touch or click on it, it's linked to a PDF that can be printed should you have a printer connected. And remember, each of these can be changed to fit your personal need. To do so is very simple. Let me show you just how simple. Seen here on the desktop in this particular area, there's a file which contains the material that was used in the kiosk, as well as two versions of the kiosk template. If I were to hover over this version, you would notice where it says type, it says PowerPoint presentation. If I were to hover over this version, in the area where it says type, it says PowerPoint slideshow. Upon going to my website, you will download the presentation version and later save it to the slideshow version. However, before doing any of that, I suggest that you collect all of the material and place it in a file. Then, take your file and place it in the document area, away from your desktop. 
At this point, we're going to go ahead and open up the PowerPoint presentation version. And this is the images that you will see. You'll notice that as I touch on all aspects of it, they are all highlighted. As a result, you can actually make quick changes that are very simple. When choosing to change your photo, you simply left click on your mouse to highlight it, then right click on your mouse. You'll notice that there are options at this point. Go to change picture and you can go to a picture in your file or online. In my case, I'm going to go to my file that is on the desktop and I'm going to choose this photo and hit insert. And just like that, the photo has been changed. When coming to the menu, you have the exact same options. Simply highlight the print, scroll over it, and make changes as needed. The buttons are already connected to the appropriate slides, and the slides can now be linked to the appropriate PDF or Word document. We're going to scroll down here to a slide here and I'm going to choose this particular slide. So you're going to left click on the actual picture or photo and it will highlight. Then you're going to right click and you will scroll up to where it says link. At this point you're going to click on the link and it will bring up the options where your PDF can be located. I'm going to click here. So I'm going to open up the file. And you want to make sure down here where it says file name in this little right hand corner that you click on it and highlight all files. And at this point, everything that's in that file will appear. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to locate the PDF that applies to our particular slide. Here is going to be the meeting minute sample and click OK. And I'm going to come back here and click OK. And it is now linked. And you would do that for all of the slides pertaining to photos. We're going to come back over here. And we're going to test it by coming to the slideshow. And we're going to click From Current Slide. Now when we test it, we'll see if it works. And as you can see, the PDF is now linked and it appears. With this template, it is extremely easy to create a very important tool with PowerPoint. Thank you, and I hope that this template helps. Have a good evening.